Hey there, folks. It's the morning of day three after getting sick with COVID. You know, yesterday I filmed and uploaded the video and my wife came in and convinced me, you know what, you really should confirm that you have COVID before you start going on YouTube and telling everybody that you got sick. And I reluctantly agreed. Here are my test results. And my wife was surprised to find out that my lines are darker than hers. Well, yesterday they were brighter than hers. I wasn't surprised. Having been a paramedic for over a decade, well, I'm no longer one, but I was an active paramedic for well over a decade, almost two. The first thing that you learn is not to rely on a single test or a complaint from somebody but to do a comprehensive assessment of everything and base your decision off of what the full picture is. I knew that if my wife had COVID, I was going to have COVID. The only question is, how bad were these symptoms going to be? For her, day five brought back some of her energy, but it came back in spurts that she powered through and did laundry and made food for us throughout the day, but she quickly got worn down. Running up and down a flight of steps, she got winded, had to sit down for a couple minutes. But it's progress. Neither one of us took a nap yesterday. We were up all day. However, by early afternoon, she lost her ability to taste. And this has become a primary frustration for her throughout the rest of the day. She made, uh, taco bake for dinner because tacos are one of her favorite things well she certainly wasn't happy when it came time to eat it because she couldn't taste anything all she could do is feel the texture of it in her mouth and she's like well, this doesn't make any sense this is weird food takes on a whole new meaning when you only feel texture and can't taste or smell what you're eating especially when it's something spicy she even added extra hot sauce onto it, thinking, oh, well, maybe if I just crank up the flavor on it, it'll be something that I can taste or feel. And she's like, oh, back in my throat, I can kind of see, feel it. But once the bubble burst and she realized that she truly can't taste or smell anything, there was no enjoyment whatsoever out of eating anything. She even tried eating a couple different things, you know, puff balls and chips and nothing. That became a very big frustration for her. And for me, I was concerned about, is this something that's going to be with her for any length of time? Is she going to get her taste back? Or is she going to be one of the population or that one low percentage of the population that don't get their taste back? Well, it is what it is. One thing that we did notice, both of us, I wasn't surprised for her, but I was surprised for me is that we, we weren't reaching for our vape as often as we usually do. And I only filled my tank up once throughout the whole day, and that was right before going to bed. I had no intention of cutting back. But for me, my frontal sinuses are completely congested, and my eyes are constantly watering. So it's hard to take enjoyment out of just about everything at this point. It also didn't help that for periods of time yesterday, I had tinnitus. And for those of you with no medical background, that's an uncontrolled ringing in your ears. And for those of you that are in the medical background, my blood pressure was normal and unchanged from what my normal is. Neither one of us had a fever and she still had her upset stomach. But my primary symptom I guess you could classify it as hay fever allergies, worse than I've ever experienced in my entire life. I definitely know, and I definitely feel that I'm sick and I'm getting really run down. Even though I didn't do a damn thing except sit on the couch yesterday, watch movies and play games. Something else that kind of had me concerned was last night before I went to bed, I actually experienced something that I haven't felt 
since I quit smoking. I had wheezing when I laid down last night and a productive cough. When I was a smoker, I always had a cough and I always wheezed with every breath, especially when walking a flight of stairs or any kind of real physical activity. That's something that I didn't miss because when I started vaping, that all went away. You know what, folks? I'm not here to convince you to start vaping if you smoke. I'm just here to document what it's like vaping with COVID. It's the morning of day three. I'm not wheezing this morning. I haven't had any coughing this morning. But my head is pounding. My frontal sinuses are totally congested. I can get air through my nose from my mouth, but my sinuses are definitely clogged. So when you blow your nose, nothing comes out. So I guess I should be grateful that the symptoms are what they are. Is tomorrow going to be any different? I guess only time's going to tell. So for now, my message is always keep on vaping and have a great day, folks.